You took notes? Good for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't take a lot of notes, but most of it's still pretty fresh. Mm. Pretty raw. I, mean, I watched it about six hours ago. Yeah. Maybe less. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, probably less. He messaged at like one. Yeah. <laughs> Am I watching yeah. this movie? Uh, what are we doing? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we, we scroll up. Like, what do you mean? We had this exact conversation already. Uh, welcome to another star studded episode of the Epic Movie Podcast. Mm. Uh, we're your hosts, Nathan, Bryce, Mason, and Dylan. And uh, today, I, I don't even know if I call this a cult classic. Nathan, uh, there's got to be a following. I mean, it's, there's, there's it's, a, a it's a piece that you could argue is historically interesting. That's true. Um, contextual to the times, supposedly. Mm-hmm. Um, we are talking about Fritz the Cat. You're being so politically correct. I mean, those were good descriptive like yeah. ways to put those are safe terms for this movie one. like this <laughs> right yes. yeah this this is a this is a really wild ride for sure it's a behind its time kind of movie yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so, of its time yeah. what it is some like opening interesting things about this mm-hmm. is it is the highest grossing independently made animated film hmm. um it was a seven hundred thousand dollar cost to produce and made ninety million in the box office. That's an so, insane return in seventy two. Yeah, it had a huge return, um, probably mostly due to the fact that the other significant thing about this movie it is it is the first animated movie to get an X rating. It's and it after. still actually was in theaters, yeah. Despite this, um. So yeah, that's you know, let's just spitball the fact that like if it didn't make it to theaters, right? If this animator guy who probably had a ton of money or financial help decided to go along with this past project, all these red flags, all these here, you know, all these people mm-hmm. telling him not to do it, went through with it. If it didn't hit theaters, what happens? Does it even? Come close like, to seven hundred grand. Does anybody ever even cost. see much out of it? It sets a strange precedent too. So for the, I, I think foreign market, it probably still probably would. yeah. Like, it would end up in US, Iran or something. Like, despite the U.S., it still would have probably done well yeah. enough. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of interesting things like talking about like people trying to you know put up red flags or stop stuff. Um, the the movie is based on a cartoon series, and the creator of that cartoon series, like, you know, gave a thumbs up, was really, like, pro the whole idea mm-hmm. until he finally saw it. <laughs> um, now, that being said, it's not that this was, like, you know, twisting his character into being, like, far more raunchy or racy uh, and edgy as he was in the comics. In fact, in the comics, he was more so Mm -hmm. Uh, but i think just generally he didn't like how fritz came off in the film Mm -hmm. um to the point to where he killed fritz in the comics and also he sued to have his name removed from the film Mm -hmm. not fritz the cat but like yeah Yeah. a, a credit on the film Dang. So we haven't described to the to yeah, viewers what this really movie is about. Yeah, we about what this movie is yet. Um, can, so, I want to start by labeling it as furry porn and go from there. That's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's very heavily that. Kelly Sr., if you're watching this, do not Google what I just said. <laughs> um, yeah, th- this movie ha- is like such a mix of stuff going on to it. Like, it's... Yeah. It has an interesting art style, you could mm-hmm. say, but it's also, like, edgy, just to be edgy, mm-hmm. like, very pornographic. Um, just... I don't think there's a woman in here that doesn't get naked and hook up with something. Yeah, right? I, yeah, yeah, right? I don't like, think so. I, I truly or, don't. That's or, like... you know, uh, so, I mean, they, they don't all necessarily, like, 
hook up or whatever. Yeah. But I don't think there's a one of them that doesn't end up somehow nude. Yeah. Whether yeah. on purpose or by Ooh, accident. The, the, the lizard, lizard one at the end. Yeah. yeah the, that's the only the one. The neo Nazi lizard lady. Yeah. Then. Yeah, and the the fact that there's neo Nazis in this, like this 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 movie is it really is all over the place. Yeah. It's, it's a movie in three parts. That's yeah. another thing that's about what I it. Said. It's about three it or is, four different sequences. Yeah, it's three different stories. Um, barely strung together with Fritz being the main participant through all of them. Um, it's supposed to be like social commentary on like just the culture in the day. So it starts off, our first story is basically about like hippie and drug culture mm-hmm. and just hookup culture in the big city. Um, and basically like a bunch of, uh, hippies thinking that they're really cool and like really into uh, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah basically it it's it's funny seeing that now oh yeah yeah and like because that's woke culture yeah being shown a long time yeah, before right. it became what is recognized as woke culture today yeah like those three girls in the beginning and the way they're talking to that uh black crow character is so cringy and ridiculous but you know it's exactly the kind of shit that would be said on college campuses yeah. even today yeah they so might I, use slightly different yeah, language but they're different, effectively right, yeah. saying the same kind of stuff it was just like virtue signaling or yeah. um right. you know saying how uh, cultural affirmative how like are. yeah how affirmative they are how aware they are yeah. of the plight of um the black crow yeah. Is, it, is it racist to say black crow? Should it no. Black crow? I, we saw but, the movie. Yeah, that's I mean, true. Black Nothing crow. we say will be as racist as <laughs> what the movie did. Well, and to be fair, it is satirical and it is like a point, but yeah, I guess black crow just kind of covers it. Okay. But yeah, so mm-hmm. I mean, that that's kind of the first story, mm-hmm. and it devolves into like this weird sex escapade in a bathroom <laughs> stoner in, in a like stoner house that gets broken up by the cops. Um, later we move on to a, uh, scene of Fritz being in Harlem and, um... <laughs> inciting an inevitable riot. Yeah, that and inciting a riot <laughs> that, man, talk about a, a, a weird and interesting moment in this movie. Did you all notice that Mickey Mouse is in this movie waving an American flag? No, I didn't. And so was Donald Duck, and I can't remember which one was the third one, but the, all three yeah, of them wait, yeah, yeah. were, like, in silhouette on a hill as okay so for for more context there's you know fritz starts a riot in harlem and the cops are like everywhere like killing people and then the like military is coming in in planes to drop bombs on harlem mm-hmm. um now as they're flying in you see the silhouette of Mickey Mouse waving an American yeah. flag and like cheering as the planes are flying over to drop bombs, which I'm sure is supposed to be like another commentary on, I guess, what he thought Disney's uh, thoughts Standpoint were focus on was. In that situation. Yeah, they would be they would be claiming it was patriotism the entire way and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so that that's kind of the third one. He he has a friend in a way at some point but that guy ends up dying um <laughs> that was the saddest part of the whole yeah movie. oh yeah yeah like it, he didn't deserve no. it. he was nothing but a good dude yeah so. yeah like he and he just dis- despite the fact that fritz was incredibly dangerous and putting his life in so much risk mm-hmm. he was still cool with him and he didn't have to be um he was gonna cut the bartender though oh yeah. Like, yeah oh yeah. yeah yeah things were getting real heated there yeah um but then our third scene is uh, Fritz gets picked up by, I guess, the woman that loves him, wants him to straighten his act up and all that kind of thing. They leave New York. Somehow they're out in the desert. Mm-hmm. Quite quickly, they're out in the desert. Well, they were talking about going to California. Yeah. Yeah. So they go out west very fast. Yeah. Um, and their car breaks down, and that's whenever he joins a group of neo-Nazis that are planning on blowing up a fuel refinery or something like that some kind of or like an energy yeah, place it looks like a fuel place. refinery yeah. from the artwork of it <clears throat> um yeah that and then he does uh, and then he does and somehow survives uh them just sacrificing him well nine lives yeah that's true yeah. that's true yeah. yeah um 
Yeah, that, that, that's just... kind of what happens through this movie. There's a lot of weird scenes and stuff, and uh, very throughout the whole course of this movie, there's so much horrible audio recording quality. Um, and when I say like, there's kind of weird moments in it. Yeah. The second scene when it opens in the bar. And there are just all these people talking, and like some of them are animated to be the crows, but not all of them. And they're having these weird ass conversations about like how when they grew up, they were eating peanut butter sandwiches, sandwiches, Instead and Whitey was sandwiches. eating ham sandwiches. <laughs> and um, like it, it very much sounded like what they did is they went to a place and asked people to let them record their conversations and then decided that they were going to animate it into their film. Mm, right. That's what it sounds <clears throat> like. So, uh, getting into the discussion of the film, did anybody else feel like they were having a stroke while watching this movie at several points? You know, um, I felt like it was, it was like TV-based, where it was like, oh, on this episode, this animated character does this, and mm-hmm. like, and it was just... You watched a few episodes well, of SpongeBob. You and know, it you just watched has a couple like, full on intermissions. Yeah, yeah. Like they have the little those, musical intermissions. Yeah, the, the musical intermissions. I was just like, at the time, was it a thing that movies still did that, where you For, had the intermission to go use the bathroom or whatever? Right. Oh, but without the intermissions, the the show that's probably only an hour long movie so oh it's yeah yeah it was a super short film. even i could probably hold it for they that just, long this 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 creator just had a few hot points he wanted to hit and he had yeah. a few ideas that he wanted to put in there he didn't and care much a about few stringing them together logs that he thought was yep. like some real hot appropriate that he wanted to yeah. include right yeah no but it's it's one of those movies where i was watching it and i'm i'm paying attention to it and i'm not mason or nathan as price would say i actually like that's all i do is when i'm watching this movie it's all i'm doing and there were times where I was watching it and I felt like I've been lost. Like, I literally, yeah. I was mentally like, you wait, what the fuck is going on now? Yeah. Like, everything. like, legitimately, I had moments where I was like, what the fuck is going on on screen right now? How did we get here? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, that's not going to be a pro for it later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I will say, though, on a pro side of it, mm-hmm. and I don't, like, I don't know if this movie was actually funny or if it was just like, the extreme ridiculousness of everything Mm -hmm. or maybe just the metal level of me thinking like i picked this movie and i'm and now i know there are at least three other people in the world that are watching (laughs) this movie too at some point yeah and i was just laughing about that but i found myself laughing at this movie a fair amount like Mm. probably about half the time oh wow i was like finding it overall humorous no, for like, various reasons. I was smiling at quite a bit of this movie, and I think it was halfway ironically, too, but, like, like I was telling Price earlier, I was watching it, and, like, if you weren't, like, super paying attention to the whole hour that it was on, mm. like, there were signs in the windows as they were walking down the street, like, cheap abortions. Like, yeah. there were so many little, like, the rabbi scene. Like, yeah. I was laughing more, I'm with you on it, because it was just kind of like, oh my god, if I, like, look at all of these points that they're trying to hit, like, look at all of these, like, hot takes they're trying to say, Mm -hmm. and... And there was so much weird stuff, too, because it took place in New York, but mentioning the rabbi scene reminded me that when the radio, which, oh my god, the audio mixing, insane, like, that radio was way way up here yeah. and then because it was so playing much... like the you know like right. the whole you know whatever yeah. kind of music uh, but, but yeah so it, it comes crashing into the main area of the synagogue and it has a news report saying something about I think it was China returning New York and like some other cities to the US or something like that mm-hmm. it was it's super weird. It's like, what what is the lore to the world? Mm-hmm. Like I don't understand. It's supposed to be the Titanic culture right it's all like the Red Scare stuff and all that oh, yeah. cooking over again. I'm surprised there was more Vietnam propaganda. Price, Price you haven't said a Price, lot. I know. Tell us one pro that you like about this movie. Maybe I two. I literally have none. I hated this movie. Okay, well, tell us what you hate about it. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, I, if you want me to have the floor Go for a little bit, yeah. that's fine. Have some feelings, buddy. Every scene in this movie went on so damn long. Every single one of them just stretched for way too long and just did not know when to stop. This movie did not feel like an hour 20. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. This was a fat movie. For <laughs> what little it has to say, which is nothing. I think it has a lot to say. I think it has the just, most to say. It just yeah. goes on way too long. All the characters absolutely suck. And 
the animation in this is also terrible. The audio is terrible. The way it's edited is horrible. Like everything about this is just so poorly made. And I know I'm gonna hear the argument. I already looked it up beforehand. This was made in the 70s. Give it a break. There's a bunch of other animated movies that were made in the 70s that hold up still really well. Like name one. I just saw Aristocats. Uh, name two. <laughs> um, uh, there was one another Disney That's one. That's okay. But Not even Disney outside of Disney, I'll give you that. Yeah, I, I don't. Is fire. I just like I said. Yeah. I just don't care. Like I don't care that this is a product of its time. I don't it's care so that it's. Edgy, like it's just like it's just like it's just it's it's like if an edge lord got a hold of a pen and paper and was like, I'm just gonna make everybody mad with this movie, and it just like tried to like try to make everybody mad, and it's just like kind of like kind of like it's always sunny in Philadelphia with an hour with an hour of twenty with an hour (laughs) hour twenty runtime, I think maybe an hour of it had some form of nudity on screen and it just gets exhausting That's not after wrong. a while. The scene yeah. where Fritz is chasing uh, chasing that uh the 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 thick, the, raven. The, the thick raven around. Oh, oh can, my god. Uh, I yeah. cannot be more irate at the TV at that time. Like it just went on so long. The orgy in the bathtub goes on so long. The scene in the with the rabbis goes on so long. The pigs were annoying every time they were on screen. Every character was annoying when they were on screen. Although, so. credit or credit to this it. movie pick, I and feel rant. like this was going to definitely be a movie pick regardless because I did have a movie slice I was gonna say. that said gratuitous amounts of nudity. Yeah. And you know what? This was what? It was that movie. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I checked that box for you. Yeah. But I think I had live action on there for you this did. exact yeah. reason. So. You did. Um, yeah, this, you know, talking about the animation too. Um, it's an interesting animation style, but it's also one that was clearly all over the place. And I wonder if this was like animated in a sequential order, because towards the end of this film, the art styles start to change. Mm-hmm. Like go there's a yeah, like the quality goes down. Yeah. The uh, you know, I I remember in particular, there's like the door to the neo Nazis little base. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's actually, like, instead of the way the other stuff was, like, animated and watercolor kind of mm-hmm. filled in, it looked like it was painted with acrylic instead. Um, there's also, like, as that person's, like, standing in the door talking to him, just the pair of eyes, there's, like, this weird kind of smoke effect that mm-hmm. I don't know if that was, like, on purpose or not, but you kind of see that just mm-hmm. kind of hovering in the frame a little bit, too. Like, there's there's a lot of weirdness to this movie, and it's like almost homemade kind of feel at a lot of moments in it. Well, I guess that's what you get with Independent. I, for one, actually enjoyed the art, and I really, really liked the animation just because, uh, what was it? Wolf Walkers was the same way, where it was like a more so independent studio, but like... Mm, It's just not mainstream art style. Yeah, Yeah. you got a different vibe. Me and Dylan, or Dylan just mentioned something about Disney being this like totally different ballgame. They have the money for it. They have all this. I really enjoyed... All of the animation, tits aside, all the nudity aside, like no, that was tits included. I mean, that's and fine. dong. Yeah, well, I was gonna say and dong. And yeah, dong, which we'll talk to my score later. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I actually really liked the artwork of it, uh, and I think that was the main thing that kept me invested in this movie. It wasn't, it wasn't the edginess. It wasn't the the you know the racial the, slurs, the social commentary, right. all of that. Like all of that was fun little Easter eggs. I thought this whole movie was full of Easter eggs. Uh, but the artwork was like probably the only thing that I give this movie full credit for because it was just like at least it's something to look at and it was in the 70s. And what all. did you think yeah. of the uh, intermission of like the crow just dancing as the scenes like slowly coming in? I was like, wondering just, what, like, that slowly was, color changing. what was happening there. I thought it was just another like psychedelic trick because it was right after I thought it was right after the first one, but I can't remember. It was after the second oh, okay. scene. Yeah. So it was, it was the transition into the final <laughs> sequence. Part. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Jack Rabbit that was yeah, shooting yeah. up. The, that guy and just the mood that they tried to strike with him, Like I feel like they tried to make him seem really cool. But he's a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he was riding that motorcycle. Like yeah, right. like they they tried to make him seem like a real hard edge badass rabbit, <laughs> and he like beats that hippo lady with a chain, mm. and it's man, it, it's rough. Did you like the animation of the scene where Fritz gets high? Which one at the beginning? Oh, the very at beginning. Because I thought that was an assault on the senses. Not as bad as but Pro we watched Bear. Pro Bear, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Assault on the senses. That, I, that kinda... I, I, hey, that was the first thing I said. It wasn't yeah. as bad as Promare, but yeah. that's weird. We both thought of Promare when you said Attack on the senses. Yeah. Promare's gorgeous. Y'all are insane. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> that was nothing. That was like he said, like watercolor psychedelic yeah. pictures and colors compared to Promare. I I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna chalk it up to growing up in a stoner family <laughs> that that did not bother me so much because that was such a stoner animation that I feel like I've probably grown up seeing that aesthetic so much to promote though um yeah. but no I, I think the the thing that otherwise strikes me in this movie is i guess with the dialogue being somewhere in one of the more important aspects of this film at least that's what the in the theory creator right envision on paper there's so much to be said but there's not the the audio mixing amongst the audio recording amongst everything else going on is so distracting that it feels like it's taking away the point, and that is something I had a problem it, with. At, well, do you think it had good points? I mean, probably not. Not in in, in some parts the of the dialogue. I was kind of wondering too. Is like you know if you if you have a message and you want to say something sure. like, is what you're saying worth anybody caring about? Right. You, you and pull- I don't. If you pull know. anyone to the side in the 70s, especially early 70s, this movie was probably actually created, like, 1970 or so. It was starting 72. to get written. Yeah. Well, it's produced and, and you so, know, right. thrown so, like, out this is probably, in 72. This so is probably closer late to 60s. 60s. Yeah. So if you pull anyone in the late 60s aside and be like, hey, what do you think about the man? Mm-hmm. It's this movie, dude. Like, yeah. What do you think about drugs? It's this movie, dude. Like, <laughs> like so does he get the point across? Sure, but I think society yeah, I, I think was on this level. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think... So, it's probably lost on us, but yeah, yeah I think right. contemporarily in its time, it probably landed a lot better, and particularly with people that were involved in the kind of cultures that it was showing. Now, that being said about this movie, though, I do want to give it a little bit of a nod in that it did trendset a lot of adult animation following, not just pornography, but yes, it is an X-rated film and all that, but this is like one of the first... I think maybe even the first mainstream example of adult animation period like Mm -hmm. animation built for adults um and how that dominoes somewhat into like the simpsons and all these things down the road is because of fritz the cat is kind of cited as like the we got to start doing animation yeah and that's why i kind of open saying that it's like historically interesting right right. yeah it it is credited for Mm -hmm. a lot of like the catalyst of changes in the world of uh like how people perceived cartoons, yes. cartoons right. and animation yeah. in general. So I think that's something that's like obviously important to note for those who you know maybe didn't know that as directly. But what a what a ride! I I was exhausted by the time this movie was done. I, I will say that though, and I'm not gonna say that as a good or a bad. I felt very much like I just got out of Mad Max again. Mm-hmm. Like it was a similar vibe where I was like I just went on a fucking roller coaster. Like I, you say you were exhausted at the end. I was more so like left, like a little bit more hollow. Like I wanted more than what the movie gave me. We were all stoked about the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, here we are. Yeah, here we are. Talking yeah. about the trailer and Why? how it was. Trailers misleading. were down on way higher yeah. movie. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I think, like, at the end of it, it was just like, dang, I could have completely, you know, gotten rid of that last sequence because I don't need to see a jackrabbit that's doped up, a lizard right. that's part of a cult leadership. See, and, honestly, uh, no, know. like, I kind of found that more interesting. I would have kept, I would have kept more of that, kept more of the, I guess, yeah, the that, crows. Yeah, that part did feel pretty brief. Yeah. You know, in... Relative in the sequence. Relative, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know actual runtime, how each of these segments split up, but that one felt like it was kind of rolling through and out without mm. without very Too much, much in the way of like character i mean not development but just discovery of yeah. these characters uh take it back the lizard lazy's tit does come out the table it does yeah, yeah no, I, so, I fully yeah. thought that she did get naked but she does not bang no she does not bang but she, she does, does get torture and yeah. probably halfway kill that heifer hippo, or hippo yeah, yeah. um what a movie that, you know what though? Can we talk about that intro song? The uh, if you guys remember it, it was like yeah, a theme song. It, it was it was actually like a theme specifically for because it for says Fritz. like Fritz yeah. in the yeah. I can't oh, remember exactly I can't remember what? talking about the audio mixing. I did have to have subtitles on, and you will not hear me yeah, say that very so often. So I turned the subtitles yeah. on because of that intro song. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure out what they were saying. Yeah, 
Yeah. And from that point on, it's a good thing that we did because, like yep. you guys said, it was so quiet. And Audio yeah. in a can or the dial was yeah. all the way down. Well, it, and so on uh, Amazon's copy of it, the the subtitles were clearly, like, computer-generated because <laughs> the words weren't actual words in many parts. Mm -hmm. So that was not the mm. most helpful, but it did help a little bit, I guess. Mm. It definitely helped some because it was, like, so mumbled in that second sequence. Mm. But... Uh, Next segment? Uh, <laughs> sure thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That thick. Thick? Perfectly fit. Perfectly thick? Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly. Uh, thin. Uh, there we go. Yeah. That thick. <laughs> this movie is only one. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what side of that do you <laughs> right. land on? Uh, Price has already landed on fat. I mean, there's a difference between fat and thick. That's true. There definitely there is. There definitely but is. This movie's fat. Okay. Fat like a, like a, like a steak? Or like a... Would it be rare? Yeah. No, it's just fat. It's way too long. <laughs> Wrong. I don't know what joke you're going for. <laughs> um, Squirt. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that I would call it fat. It does spend too long on too many scenes. It's just like I, it's weird when you call a short movie a yeah. fat movie mm -hmm. because you feel like it needs to have some runtime to it, but. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I guess I kind of agree with you. Overall, it is kind of fat, but um, I think I also would have liked to have seen something a little bit better out yeah. of it overall with the time that it was given. Yeah, I feel like my problem here is that it. Yes, it's fat, but it's not fat in the traditional sense where the runtime is so unbearably long compared to the content. It's fat in that it's it's Quentin Tarantino fat, right? It's the yeah. it goes on for too long in the concepts we're doing, right? Like the scenes and everything are fine. The story it tells is like, sure, I mean it kills it in the hour fifteen, so to speak. But it's the the dragging of the scenes and the getting to the point and all of that that just goes on for forever. So um, if this was a curl reference, then this should have been a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, mm -hmm. but there's way too much peanut butter and there's not nearly enough jelly to balance it out. That whole intro scene is completely pointless. It is. Yeah. It, it was completely jelly. pointless. It was apple butter. Oh, my bad. That, that's yeah, that's well, what they that's, got with their peanut right. butter. That Within one. that price and also just like the rabbi scene, like I think, for, I'm, I'm with you guys, I think it, it was just a strange short movie that like, I don't know that I would want it much shorter, mm -hmm. but like, like there were quite a few different little scenes that weren't necessary. Price just mentioned the intro where like they're like banging against guitars and trying to basically yeah, get the yeah. attention of these girls I was going that he gets up in with anyways. Like he's just... <laughs> I was going even further. I was talking about the actual very beginning. Where oh, the, the working? The, yeah. Where yeah, they're the eating a sandwich. Yeah, and doing that was like, a good... He's that, talking about sending his kid off to school. Yeah. Like, that was build up because I think it was like... Was there not like a, like a news... It was narrated, but I thought that there was something no. about... No. There's three people on a, working, on a working, a construction site. Yeah. One of them starts peeing off the side, and that's when the credits come in. Yeah. The credit scene was stupid. Yeah. But I'll agree. That whole that's, scene... But credits were done that way. that's a date. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. Credits yeah. were done front-loaded yeah. because... Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. yeah, in the church scene, too. Like, that was literally just be like, let's just... Let's hit the Jewish culture a little bit here, too. Like, yeah. that's all this guy wanted to do. So, like, he just had him run through a, you know... Oh, you thought we temple. were done, Jews? No. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. your turn now. Uh, yeah. This oh. movie, I'm pretty sure is. You, you guys remember Wreck? Like, I'm pretty sure Wreck was the same amount of time. The recording movie. Wreck. No, I know. Oh. I, just, I, I, I heard yeah. like Car Wreck originally, and yeah, then he said yeah. it the second time, I'm like, no, I'm there. Yeah, okay. my bad. No, you good. But yeah, I'm pretty sure like that movie was like 78 minutes long or 76 minutes long, where this mm -hmm. one's pretty much the same. And yeah, this movie was just done so much differently, and yeah, the fact that it was done up in three different parts makes it so strange like i want to i didn't want hardly any of the last one but i really really liked the second sequence and then the first sequence was probably good just to warm you up to all of the crazy shit that was about to happen yeah. and uh but yeah it was it's strange to call it fat but it just needed retuning i think yeah score them up yeah unless there's a question uh I yeah, about that question. damn question uh nathan you got a question <laughs> this or Lawnmower Man? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you know I, I feel going. like all the questions that I would throw out are really inappropriate. Uh, See, I've we... got, I've got one. Yeah. So we were really high on this trailer when we saw it. And we're like, yeah. Man, yeah. we're super excited to see this movie. Uh huh. We've are, 
Name, try to name another movie that we've had such a disparity on between like either being really excited and disappointed or disappointed and really excited. Perks of being per- I was going to say Perks yeah. is off the table. Yeah. Damn it, we just talked we about just that. We just talked about that. Um, I got one. Okay. It is, uh, it's your favorite little drummer boy movie. Whiplash? Whiplash. Whiplash. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't even remember that trailer. No, I remember the trailer was very, looks okay. It was very middle of the road whenever we watched it. I don't even it. remember it, and I yeah, gave I, it almost a 10. I so. know, which is why for you, or your sake especially, is why I'm like, yeah, I, I felt like everybody was like, this looks fun. This looks like, like a drama, like any other Oscar bait drama. And then you went in and almost gave it a 10, so yeah, that would be the one this I'm season gonna, that sticks out. I'm going to say Frontiers, just because, like... <laughs> yeah, that's, guys, a good that's a good one. <laughs> you guys saw that, and you're like, oh, hell oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're snipping yeah. Achilles. Like that, yeah. So, yeah, that's my choice, too, because that one, <laughs> yeah, the trailer, you. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm, I'm <laughs> down for this. How, like, this, crazy this, this has a lot be. of potential. Like, this doesn't seem like it's going to just be raw again or something. Like, right. I, I I had hopes for it. I, I like <laughs> horror. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it, well. It shit the bed. Oh, yeah. 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 It did. Yeah. And, Not, roll, and rolled around in it. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it, crawled through. It, 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 it slept, walked afterwards, and then like got it all over the house afterwards too. Yeah. It was bad. Hannah, why is there footprints? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> must have been Griff. Must have been Griff. Oh, don't roll it out. Um, scores for real this time though. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. All right, Mason, you start us off. Um, this movie. This is gonna be a, like a, a quoted movie amongst this group. Nathan said it best earlier. You probably won't be able to find four other people that have seen this movie on the no. in your the rest of your days on planet Earth. I'm gonna ask Rick about it at poker next time. It's, oh, don't. <laughs> um, I will say that like this movie, while I was searching for it, it did show up Fritz the Cat and his nine lives. So I think that there's either like a. Uh, oh, a God. show or a movie that comes after this. There's a director's cut out there. And like, I am yeah. this intrigued. I like I might end up trying to just see what it's about it. because if it's if it's episode based, it might be more fun. Mm. I still have to give this movie a five. I, <laughs> it's. I like it that. Is, <laughs> it is busted. It is so, and it's not that it's just the, one of the worst movies ever. It's just that it's like it it tackled what it was trying to do. All right, and this is an X-rated movie. This is a lot of different things, but I have to look at it as a movie, and it's it doesn't have any structure. It doesn't have any end. It doesn't have anything. It's literally just this cat getting himself into actually what is worse and worse situations as time goes on, and it it doesn't have a finale. It's it's just kind of like a. That's a fair point. Mm. It could have cut to another intermission and yeah. done an, another this sequence could, after that. Yeah, I mean, and it could have been politics. The one thing that I don't think they hit very well on for this Enough, time period right. was politics. Yeah. And that's... It's I'm thankful time for it. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm thankful for it because it was just kind of like, you know, you already had the cops in there as pigs, which were just dunces. Mm-hmm. But, I mean... They were funny, though. They were kind of... They were actually my least favorite, probably, in the whole movie. You didn't like that whole, uh, like their conversation before they went into the apartment. Oh, going yeah. up the stairs, that was the best they ever yeah. were. Yeah. Before they were like, all right, well, I want to touch the girl. Wow, I think I've touched her enough. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but this, from a movie, like I said, like I would do this with one of my movies too. It's just like you have to pick it apart from like what it is. Mm-hmm. And this movie needed to just stay a TV show. Like Ren and Stimpy, we talked about it last week, I think off camera, and it's, Ren and Stimpy did this exact same thing, but I don't know that they ever made an X-rated movie uh, about it, and I don't know. Mm. Five for me. <sighs> me and Mason, man, I don't, I don't know how to, how to unstick the landings. To, yeah. uh, I'm gonna start by saying it's a five. Um, I was almost teetering more towards like a four and a half to a four, mm. but gave me tits and dong and butt. <laughs> And I, that it always, gave you everything. It gave oh, you yeah. badge. It gave yeah. me badge. It gave me all. It so. gave you plenty of that. And you know what? Thing. Equality. It goes to a five four. All that. I won't lie. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that's hundred percent. It's worth a whole point for itself. Uh, pig dong. Sure. Why not? Penis. Um, it's a penis. It is very much a penis. There are several times there's penises, um, and even references to not being black enough at times. Mm-hmm. That was a line. I didn't think I was going to be ever saying it out loud, but um, 
yeah, this this movie's a lot, man. Uh, it's 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 a psychedelic trip talking about the, the time capsule that is the late sixties, early seventies. But it gave me it gave me stroke feelings. It made me feel like I was I was watching something and somehow it had tricked me, and I had lost track of time, or just maybe dissociate or do something on that, which is not very good strength for the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> It is it is wild and over the top and insane and it's a psychedelic movie in that way and I I've conceded earlier I probably have a bit more tolerance for that one so that doesn't necessarily bother me if anything I think it does bring a little bit of inter- interesting uh, factor to it although is it great in its interest no it's just that it's eye catching and it did enough to keep me like not totally wanting to run away from the screen for the whole hour fifteen that it was on um, but good god the audio is so fucking garbage trash bad bad bad, bad. Um, the only thing that does, that saves it from again being closer to a 4 is probably the, the nudity because I respect the equality there and the other side of it is if you ask me do I like it dislike it more than Lawnmower Man director's cut still no <laughs> so and that's a 4.5 last I checked so this movie stays at a very firm 5 yeah Price would you like to uh, to bury this movie yeah I'll, uh, Would you give it a one or a zero, Price? <laughs> well, now that zero is on the table, because I decided like if I really just this don't is like Game Frontier, if, if I really don't like a movie, like why is if there's nothing I find redeemable about <laughs> it, it is. why is it anything <laughs> above a zero? If I can't find one time I like laughed, appreciated something, like I just hated my entire time with this movie. I haven't talked the entire time. I went on a two minute rant when they asked me to talk. And that's the only reason they because they asked for it. I just don't feel like talking about this movie. Like it's just it's just a nothing movie to me. I really didn't enjoy it. The last time I gave a, a movie a zero, like I asked the guys, I was like, we gotta do something different with the wheel. Like I am tired of picking these garbage ass movies, wasting my time, and just lowering my expectations for anything we're watching at movie club. Like I'm just tired of it. Like I wanna do something different. And then just like like Mason gave me the first punch with Frontiers, and here comes Nathan with. <laughs> hey, Prince you the started Cat. with Raging Bull, then there, yeah. was, movie, then there was Frontier. Well, and he then had to pick that. My picks have been nothing but did, those were categories. We, we actually did pick these like Frontiers and Fritz. That's true. We we picked those. That's true. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. You this wheel even. had nothing on you. Yeah. I'm so done with this wheel. I'm so glad we're changing it. I'm glad that we're all agreeing that my picks were the best this season, hands down. We'll figure that out later. That's a hundred percent. You guys three had the three worst movies we maybe have ever seen. That's true. <laughs> they were bad. And then you're like, what? What movie did Dylan pick? I don't know. Jurassic Park, I think. <laughs> like, yeah. like I said, Ranching Bull has redeemable things in it. Like there are if you're parts. a domestic violence lexicon <laughs> <laughs> and you're yeah. saying I need a movie that speaks to me, then I'll, yes, that is I'm technically true. I'm just saying on record right now. I've watched this movie over Raging Bull hands down. I'll watch yeah. this movie yeah. twice before I watch Raging Bull. Uh, again. Hundred, yeah. uh, maybe three or four times. I, I about three or four. Times. I highly That's disagree. Oh. There are, at, at three, I'm getting high. There are redeemable <laughs> things in Raging Bull. At least there. Performances given. Yeah, those women stay humble. You should get to see Al Pacino or whatever. Or <laughs> Al, 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 Al Capacino. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right, he was Scarface. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't care what they say. Like I said, Assault on the Senses during that. They said Promare. I think Promare is gorgeous and is exactly what it wants to be. Fritz the Cat is everything I don't want in a movie. It's just bad. Well, it's not just even trying to be edgy. Yeah, the nudity also is it's bad nudity, yeah, nudity and it's just uh, used just, all the time. Yeah, it was I'm done with it. I'm done saying my piece on this movie. It's a zero. I'm not saying it's Can a I ask one question? I was going to give it a point five to like like maybe it did something like it it transcended adult animation. It did. But I've said numerous times I don't care what a movie has done outside of its purview. It's a movie. All right, real quick, this is for Price. Mm. If this movie was a eight episode series on Hulu or Netflix, whatever you want to call it, would you watch it? No. Would you watch the first episode and say, This is edgy and then at least watch a couple more into that? Is it the fact that it's a movie or is it the fact that No, it was... there's a bunch of anime I haven't watched just for the fact that like, oh, it's just trying to push like mm-hmm. try to be edgy like I gotcha. um, the like, Goblin I accidentally kissed my sister? I accidentally oh. kissed my sister, Goblin Slayer. Well, that's just a trailer that came um, out recently. I'll what's that? Sure. A redo of, like, of a healer? Redo of a healer, yeah. yeah. It's, it's something like that. Yeah, like, it's, like it's... there's just some that are just like edgy. I'm just like, that is so far beyond what I want from anything I've seen in a movie. Just like overly edgy. <laughs> so, no. I hope that gets called on cam. I want to yeah. clip that. Anyway. <laughs> I would not want to, but Nathan... Go for it. Um, Nathan, give it a 10. Fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Curve balance out. Yeah, yeah, 
that bug. I'm going to get my own yeah. scores. Up. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this, this movie was uh, a lot. I picked it just due to like the history of it and having like seen a video on YouTube of somebody talking about it, but I never watched the trailer or anything. So whenever we did watch the trailer, you guys were excited, and I immediately was like, yeah. oh, no. no. Yeah. I feel like they're now we're excited building expectations. for just how much they're going to trash this uh, movie and me having picked it. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and, yeah. Uh, Your predictions were correct. Yeah. yeah. It, it is interesting. Um, it, I did honestly find myself laughing quite a bit through it, but I think it was just at the... Absurdity. Um, absurd the and over the top and cringy nature of it um yeah it it might have been culturally relevant and interesting in its day uh, it is not to me or in this day <laughs> anything like that so 50 years later <sighs> yeah. i don't know like it, it's not the worst thing in the world but i think i'm still gonna land at like a four and a half on it like it it's it's kind of below it's definitely below average so i think that's where it should land that is rough i've got to know did this was this a rotten movie when it came out or rotten tomato I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what are the what the hell are the critic scores and the and the people scores on this at that time because as a time capsule movie i'm always very intrigued to see like perception yeah well, I mean, Rotten Tomatoes I know, around it didn't exist point, huh? at that time, but uh, well, I was wondering... Oh, this movie would tank so fucking bad. Uh, let's see. IMDb but, you know, gives it a 6.2 out of 10. Hmm. But, and Rotten Tomatoes... People were trying to reviewing it. And kind of going like, well, that or just like... Like, nowadays, if, a, if Rotten Tomatoes were to give it like a 20, there's almost as much interest in watching that movie especially if it yeah. was like you know what I mean it has when it's so bad, bad you have to like watch Morbius, it to see like it. Morbius yeah. Morbius yeah. Is... people were still wanting to watch Morbius even but though not as many as Sony thought that we were actually yeah. to based on um, the reason we released okay so hmm. on Rotten Tomatoes it's like a dead heat between both critics yeah. and audience 59% nice on both yeah that that's pretty rare well, I feel like I yeah people see like the relativity in it right the, you know but I, I think that this movie's not so smart that it's getting the critics, but it's also not so dumb mm. that it's, like, losing the people. So I think it does kind of tiptoe right in the middle for both those crowds. So I think that's kind of interesting in itself, actually. Um, without further ado, we've got a loaded wheel. I, I know what we're watching God. already. But no, we don't. A good you know what? There was, like, six man. Tomb Raiders on there last spin, and I'll tell yeah. you, we watched Fritz the Cat, so... Yeah. yeah. Ne ne never, never think you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, poor Alicia Vikander's never gonna get seen again. I'll tell you what, I would have not. Minded Did we even watch her. Ex Machina? No. No. Not here. I know. Oh, I've, I've seen it before. Yeah, I, 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 oh yeah, it. really good. Yeah. I I don't know how it'll be knowing the like the twist. <laughs> yeah, stuff, but though. if they haven't seen it, then I'd be. I've five, seen it. Fourteen. Oh, okay. That's that's a little under uh, fifty percent. That's like forty percent uh, chance. Yeah, it's like close to thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Yeah. But let's try it. That's my world, Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Baby driver. No shit. Ah! Yes! <laughs> okay! <laughs> and Price. I've been All waiting right. two seasons now to watch that movie. Grab the I, keyboard. I am oh, yeah. very happy about that. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. That's no, not even my yet. movie. Oh, it's not? I swear it's been your yeah, movie. You keep mentioning it, so I assumed it was yours. No. Pretty sure it's Mason's. Oh, oh it definitely fine. is Mason's. Yeah. This will be an interesting movie to go back on, seeing not one but two canceled main actors on this. What did uh, Ansel? Yeah, what did he get canceled for? Um, I'm trying to remember, but it, it was, was like a, a sexual assault. Sexual assault, alleged, yeah, or, alleged, uh, yeah. But gotcha. did you see where one of Tillian's assaults or uh, his allegations got dropped? I don't uh, care about him. Nah. One of them did. Oh yeah, I forget. Well, we definitely version. need to hear it. Yeah, this is a movie about audio. Yeah. Well, um. Grab the... The keyboard again? No. Uh, the little remote. Oh, yeah. okay. Little baby remote. Uh, this one? Yeah. You sure? Little baby little remote. remote. I'll tell ya. Lily James and Jamie Foxx are why you watch this movie. Then. Pretty. Uh-huh. What? Her. That girl. And Jamie Foxx. Oh, yeah. John Hams. No, John Hams. Oh, John Ham. Come on. Steals I, the show. Can I take a second to say that I I may have a crush on John Ham. He's a handsome man. I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. And he it. seems like he has a, a good... Good funny bone. Yeah. 
So, I have seen this movie before, but I saw it in such low quality mm. that, like, I don't feel like I even know what that guy's face looks like. <laughs> yeah, it was just a blur. Just John Bernthal's in this? Yeah, he's in another one of the guys. Does he do any... <laughs> no. He looks like he would, though. Incoherent screaming is what that subtitle was. <laughs> yeah. His charisma Ooh. in this movie is unreal. Parenthal? The baby. Oh. The main character. Ansel, yeah. No, yeah, he definitely has got, like, a, a strong visual magnetism to him for being, like, a very subtle character and compared to, like, the roster here. He feels like it... I would give it the description of, like, it feels like Batman when you're, like, trying to sit, hold the screen with Joker, Harley Quinn, and all that. Yeah. I really hate Kevin Spacey as a terrible person. <laughs> yeah. You mean in everything he does? Yeah, you mean... Wait, do you hate it because you, you like him as an yeah, actor? Yeah, like, he's yeah. a great actor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, all, yeah, all the males aside, listen, he carried House of Cards for, like, three oh, seasons. Oh, yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, real piece of shit. I mean, Robin guy. Wright was great in that, too, though. Yeah, Robin Wright was fucking stellar as well. Yeah. It's just they wrote it based on him. Right. I mean, they wrote it around him at that point. Oh, yeah, I remember the mask scene. They're like, uh... There's a whole thing to that. We'll see that in the movie. And who's... What's her face again? It's, uh... I don't know who you're talking about. I never know her. No, I know. She's Hispanic? Yeah. Is it like something Gonzalez? Some. Michael Myers, yeah. <laughs> it was your. Isaac Gonzalez, it was that one. Oh, it was Nathan, it was Baby Driver that got picked. Yeah, it was. Ooh. I'm cursed. Yeah, I gave each of you all a. Uh, yeah, he gave you all a throw. Nice. Okay. So, so now all the categories are going to be mine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Big Pokemon movie, I swear. I'm doing Do three it. devil Do all the time. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to throw you a bone. It's Pokemon against devil all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what a ride of a wheel that's going to be. And you know what's going to be the funniest part? It's going to hit Retro or Guest. Yeah, well, <laughs> that'll throw the whole kink and price will get well, screwed and he'll hate the wheel even we'll, more. Uh, yeah. have to find that out next time. Yep, <laughs> so make sure to tune in next week on the FMovie Movie Podcast uh, for Baby Driver. If you uh, like the content we're doing, making sure to hit that bell. Yeah. Hey! No! <laughs> it's not hit that Camacho. <laughs> it's not like no, a dance move. There's not a button for that. Uh, well. I don't even know what that button would look like. Yeah, let us know in the comments below what a button to me would look like. Is it just like an ice cream cone and, and Indian food? <laughs> Put it in an emoji. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, let us know in the comments below what, what emoji we each all are. Also, if you happen to have watched this movie, I know you didn't, but if you uh, have seen Baby Driver, tell us what you think about it before we get into the movie, and uh, we'll read the comments. We read everything you guys post. Everything. <laughs> All of it. Where Bye. Bye, guys. That's our show. Tune in next week for Baby Driver. Fritz yeah. the cat Cancel. lives on. Yeah. <laughs>